Hi, I'm Rob, one of the metallurgists here at Apollo, here today for the Metallurgy Minute. Let's talk about absolutes in life. You have death, you have taxes. What about heat treatment? Are there absolutes in heat treatment? They're pretty far and few between. Let's talk about decarburization. Is decarburization always bad? No, there's sometimes it's actually highly desirable. What about decarburization and fatigue? Yeah, most people would say that's undesirable. Why? Well, let's say we have a part that's we've heat treated to about 40 HRC. That means it's going to have a strength of about 180 KSI. Now, the endurance limit, which is a measurement of fatigue, where if you're in operational stress below that, you're not going to have fatigue. So most people will say it's about 50%. So that means our endurance limit, if we're at 40 uh, HRC, is going to be about 90 KSI. Now, on this example, we have some partial decarburization. It's a lighter etching phase on the surface. And we'll say that its hardness is about 25 HRC. That means if we've dropped the tensile about 120, or half of that 60 KSI. That's a pretty big jump from the 90 endurance limit that we'd have when we were 40 HRC. Now, in this example, we have total decarburization. That's a free ferrite on the surface. Now, we'll say its hardness is about 125 Vickers. That would put its tensile about 60 KSI. Half of that's 30 KSI. We're a far cry from the 90 where we started. So you can see why that would be a bad thing. Have questions about decarb? Give us a call. I'm Rob. This was a Metallurgy Minute. Thank you.